guys, today we're going to explore the difference between experimental and theoretical probability. So theoretical probability is just what would we expect to happen without running any trials, just what would, what would the math say behind it? Versus the experimental probability is what happens when we actually run the trials and do the tests. So today, if you have a coin and a dice, if you have a deck of cards, I would recommend going and grabbing them. It makes the activity a lot more fun. If you don't have them, there are links on the, on the assignment. It is standard 11 activity number one. You can click those links, use those generators instead. So for each one, you're gonna start off and it's gonna ask you what's the theoretical probability. So the first one says, what is the theoretical probability of flipping a coin and landing on head? So that means if I take my coin and I flip it, what do you think the probability is that it lands on heads? So you'll just fill that one in there. Once you figure out what the theoretical probability is, you're gonna use that to say for the second one, how many times would you expect it to land on heads if you flipped it 10 times? So if I flip 10 times, how many times do I think it's gonna land? Okay, so those are your theoretical probability. Then you're actually gonna run the trial for the experimental probability and you're gonna use the table. So it says run a trial, how many times did it actually land on heads? So I'm gonna flip it once. It is heads. I'm gonna put an X for heads just to keep track. I'm gonna go again, flip it again. I got another heads. I'm gonna flip it again. Tails, so I'm gonna put a tails. Okay, you get the idea. You're gonna end up running it a total of 10 times, so you should have 10 X's in those spots. Then down below, um, you're gonna actually answer that question, so, or up above, sorry, you're gonna answer that question for how many times you actually landed on heads. Then you're gonna do the same thing, but the next time you're running 50 trials instead of 10. Okay, after you do that with the coin, you're gonna go ahead and run the same idea with your dice. So for the dice, the question's asking, what's the theater, theoretical probability of rolling a five or a six? So if I roll this, I got a four. Okay, so we're trying to figure out a five or a six count. You're gonna figure out it, what would you expect to happen for 10 tries, then you're gonna actually run the, the trial for a total of 10, and then you're gonna do it for 50. Okay, when you get to the cards, that's the third and final one. You're trying to figure out what is the probability that you draw an ace. So if I held this out to you right now and you picked one of these cards, what's the probability that you were gonna draw an ace? Is this an ace? No. Okay. The key to this one is that you have to replace it. So when I do my 10 trials, I'm going to replace that card. Then I'm going to draw another one. Hey, I got an ace. Look at that. Okay. Then I'm just going to randomly replace it. I can shuffle if I want, and I'm going to draw another one. Okay. For this table on that one, for the ace down here, you can just mark ace or not ace. You don't have to keep track of every single one. We're just trying to figure out the probability, both theoretical and experimental, of actually solving or actually drawing an ace. Okay, then there are just three reflection questions down below. Make sure you answer those, um, and we'll kind of put up an answer key to those so you can make sure that you're on the right track for tomorrow.